Dollyverse, it's Gypsy, and today I have a really special video for you guys. So, I, I think I'm going to end up having to make parts for this video because if I want to include all the information, it's going to be way too long. I'm going to try my best to upload all the parts at the same time so that you don't have to wait for the next part in the series. But anyways, before we get started though, I wanted to give a little shout out to my boy Genu who has been cranking out designs left and right for me um, because I told him I wanted to do like a personalized uh, wardrobe sort of for my dolls. So... He's been doing that, and you can see here my beautiful dog Roselda, who is an Integrity Toys doll, and she was given to me by one of our dolly friends, Cutie Erica, on Instagram. And you see her shirt? It's a little baby tiger shirt. So here's a little tiger on the shirt. And guess what I got today? Gina made the baby tiger on my own shirt. So now we can match. Ooh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. How fun is that, right? So the rest of this video, I'm not gonna be on the screen. You'll just be hearing me uh, talking from behind the camera. And so we're about to jump right into it. Go ahead and bring your favorite dollies along. Check out what we're doing today to get there. Or this is a great video for those of you who need something to listen to or watch while you're sorting or doing whatever you like to do in your collection. Just tidying things up a bit, okay? Y'all, before we get started, um, can we just take time to appreciate this, okay? What do y'all know about this? Hi Chew. They got a cola flavor. These things are so good. Like this one and the blue one that comes in this package. <sighs> so I have to eat this while we're filming. Sorry, I mean, it's so good. What y'all know about a high chew, man? Somebody put them on the high chew, please, because these guys don't know. These don't know. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> and don't mind the background noises, because if you hear any sounds, it's just Adonis over there working on some music like he be doing. Okay? What are we doing, you guys? What is this? What is happening up in here? I'm going to tell you as soon as I finish eating this. We got to take... The camera off the tripod for a second to get the full scope of what's happening. All right. Like, this is crazy. I didn't even realize until I did this just how many dolls I had on this level. Okay, I really didn't even realize the scope, the scope of my collecting until now. We have sorted our broken dolly collection of made to move hybrid dolls is I want to show you guys all of my hybrid dolls one by one and when I say hybrid what I mean is that about I want to say 98% of my dolls that have made to move articulation didn't come with that articulation so I had to customize the dolls meaning they had um, one head and then I had to get a made to move body as a donor then I swapped the heads and some of them, that was the extent of the customizing. And for some of them, I went further and did other things. So I will explain that to you as we come across those dolls. So that's what we're going to do. And I already sorted them by skin tone. So I'm going to show you which skin tones I have. I'm hopefully going to be able to remember which made to move doll originally I used to give those dolls bodies. So therefore, you guys can have some kind of a reference, some kind of idea of which dolls that you might own that have similar skin tones. You can match them up to the bodies that you need. Of course, this is not going to appeal to everyone because everybody's not into made to move dolls and their articulation level um, or the way that the bodies look, which I understand, but I happen to be a big fan of them. And the more articulation, the better. So um, I'm going to differentiate between the dolls that have full MTM joints versus dolls that I call semi-MTM dolls that are like part of their joints are made, made to move joints and then part of the joints are just some other kind of articulation but they are um, articulated with some level of made to moveness. All right, so I have included all of them here and I will differentiate, I will show you which ones are which as I'm going through them. All right, so up here at the front, I have a little handful of uh, what I call the like the Millie skin tone, just the plain Barbie skin tone. This doll, she was a fashionista's doll. Um, 
If I can't remember which dolls they are, because I haven't handled a lot of these dolls in a while since we moved here. We've been in Washington for a year already, and I just started pulling my dolls out. So, if I forget, I'll just put it up on the screen if I can remember by the time I'm editing. But for those of you who are watching that know way better than I do, uh, you can help me out and label some of these for me too, in case I mix something up. Or if I forgot to add the information. Yeah, so this one is the platinum blonde one that had like the dark roots. And I think we did a review of her. And she has the skipper doll head sculpt, which I love. And that's part of the reason why I decided I wanted to add this one. She's got a made to move pink top body. And pink top is just a regular Barbie doll uh, sculpt originally. I do not actually have any of those heads anymore because I got rid of them. I don't really keep my reject doll body parts. Yeah, but I only got her for the body. So she's one of those. I think I named this one Ember. I can't remember all of the dolls names, you guys, but uh, I got them around here somewhere. I write them all down. Okay, and this really cute doll, she is a closed mouth Millie with a side glance and um, I love her curly hair. She's also a fashionista originally. And I got her on that same body. And she does have full made to move articulation. I think this is a Wonder Woman doll head that came on one of those WWE wrestler type bodies. The, what do they call them? The athletic body type, which I detest. I don't like those. Um, they look really awkward to me. Their hands and feet are gigantic. And it's really difficult to find shoes for them. They just are really inconveniently made for my taste of what I do with my dolls. But anyway, the face is pretty, so I wanted it. And she is also on just a regular pink top body. We've got this guy who was the first broad body Ken that came out when they were making different body types for the Ken dolls. And he is on, now this is a made to move body, even though this doll is not marketed as that. This is from the Batman versus Superman uh, line where they had the articulated collector dolls. And I think I had Superman possibly. What is his name, you guys? Ugh, it's on the top, like the tippity tippity tip of my tongue and I can't remember. But anyways, if I didn't remember the name, it's up here on the screen. The, these bodies are like basically the broad Ken's dimensions, but with made to move articulation. So they still have all the same joints that regular made to move dolls have. And these were the first made to move bodies for Ken before the BMR dolls came out. So they're very wide, very broad, very muscular. They're very muscular. And he's always ready to punch somebody in the face, apparently. But I love this serious expression on this guy's face. That's why I thought he would look good on this body. And also you can remove these wrists and exchange them for um, open palms if you can find a matching skin tone to donate. But I think you gotta heat the joint before you pop them off. They don't pop off as easily as the girl's wrists do. So do that at your own risk, okay? All right, now, what's this? I think this is Santina. Okay, this next doll, she's really pretty. I think this doll was originally some kind of Barbie look doll. I don't remember which version right now. I, I wanna say she was one of those, but yeah, she's so pretty. I like the way that they did her makeup. It's very like, I don't know, just very like soft and feminine looking and she has eyebrows like rooted eyebrows <laughs> she just I don't know she was very classy and I think I named this one Santina and she's just got a regular made to move body pink top yeah this is my doll Echo who was originally a Katniss sculpt she's a um, Katniss Barbie version what i don't know i don't remember which version because i have more than one but she's like a later version from uh one of these hunger games things 
and her hair is really long and pretty it's very dark she's very beautiful I, I like her because she looks closer in resemblance to the actress and I think that J-Law is really pretty so I wanted some kind of something to remind me of her and um, she's got that same skin tone for the body pink top and then my last one now this one you guys I'm adding her here with the pink top dolls but to be honest I really don't know for sure if she's on a pink top body because I kind of remember I feel like I didn't I don't know I can't really remember what body I put this on but when I compare them in skin tone she looks very similar to their skin tone to me so that's why I added her to this uh, skin tone group but I could be wrong my eyes could just be playing tricks on me right now because of the lighting in my house so I don't really know for sure that she's on a pink top body but I don't know just because she's an ethnic face sculpt I think people just probably would be like no she's, she's supposed to be on a brown body but her skin tone is actually very very light and it's very similar to my white dolls like the ones that are supposed to be white girls you know what I'm saying see how close their skin tones are so there really isn't that much of a difference so that's why I feel like I think this is the same uh, body tone so she's probably okay so moving on to the next batch let's do our dark skinned dolls and I will show you which ones I have one by one. Let's see. So for these dolls, this one is the original head on her original body, which was the hiker doll. And we also have the same skin tone for a yoga doll as well, which is... Which color top is it, you guys, with the darkest... I, I want to say lavender, maybe, is what we're calling it. She had like a light purple uh, thing at the bottom of her shirt. This one is actually a Chandra from Soul and Style Head that I had repainted some while ago. And she looked like she could get away with this body, so I gave her this one. And she's wearing one of Jinu's designs on her shirt. That's a oh, oh, okay, one of a kind. And Jinu actually made me a shirt to wear too, so I'm gonna show you guys that probably later on when I have that shirt on. But now I can match my dollies. <laughs> How cool is that? Look at how light her eyes are. They're like yellow almost. Wow. They're supposed to be like a really, really light brown color. And she's got her big curly hair with burgundy streaks going through it. I think the doll originally had her hair maybe tied up. And I think I did a review too. She was the, one of the first petite dolls that came out. And then she's just got on a little dress. Okay, and then we have Royal here. That's what I named her, Royal, after one of my friends who looks just like this. Same skin tone and everything. And she's got the same type of body. Okay. That was, this one was a Fashionista's doll too, originally. And she's got really long, straight, jet black hair. I actually had more than one of her, but I repainted one's face and I ended up giving her away to my uh, niece because she loves dolls and I thought she should have a nice pretty dark skin doll this one one of my ultimate favorite dolls in my collection is a Selma head sculpt and she is the Selma Dupar Barbie originally from the um, Harlem theater collection and these are designed by Carlisle Nuera she does not come with a made to move body but I gave her one and then that's her actual necklace that the doll came with. And then she's just wearing one of these shirts that my son did for me. So it's clone. That's like our um, our little uh, dolly verse brand that we're that we made for our doll people. And she doesn't have a new name yet, but she's from the BMR 1959 collection designed by Carlisle Luetta and. I gave her a custom shirt too. Remember when this shirt, this is a Barbie shirt. It originally had the letter B on the front. Um, I was thinking of my, my niece whose name is Sing. And I thought I would be like a cute little thing to put on a shirt for a doll. Cause Sing is a word as well, right? But she's actually on her original body, which is a curvy made to move body. So this body is a little bit different from the 
other ones in its dimensions. And we did a little review of this doll. So if you wanna go check it out, then I'll show you more details about her body type. But she's perfect as is, so I did not change her. And I really like her a lot. And I want you guys to know that this collection that I'm showing you, it's really just my made to move hybrid dolls. I do still have other uh, donor bodies that are in my stash, but I don't consider those dolls part of my actual collection. So what I call like my A-list of dolls, those are the dolls that I probably go to um, for my main display dolls that I like, I wanna have those out no matter what. If I have like limited space, those are the first batch of dolls that I would pull out. So she's one of those dolls for me, an A-list doll. And then my B-list dolls are like the ones that, you know, it's like, oh, I would keep them out if I could, but if I don't have the space for them, I'm not gonna like cry because I don't have them out. Um, they're like the dolls that I rotate in and out of my display stash. But yeah, so, um, so those dolls, I never count donors or like reject parts or dolls that uh, that are like waiting for a body but they're just like a floating head i don't count those as part of my active collection um until they've been kind of customized enough for me to feel comfortable displaying them or handling them or putting them in a video so that's all you're seeing here are, are those dolls that are on my a list my b list and even my c list which are my dolls that i don't necessarily like miss if they're not around but I just like knowing that I have them, I guess. <laughs> so if I ever wanted to pull them out, they're there. And then I have like a list be after that, which is like just the reject, you know, doll that are just sitting around. They're like waiting for something to be done to them. Next in the line. All right, so now we're gonna do our purple top skin tones, which is the palest, uh, lightest skin tone available right now for me to move dolls. So this one is one I got recently, and she is from the Jurassic World series of Claire. That's the name of this character. Even though, as you can see, her upper body is not articulated with made to move joints. Her lower body, right here, her knees, these are, see how the knees go back? Yeah, these have the those double joints in the knees, just like the made to move dolls do. So that's why she ended up in this collection. And this doll, I'm definitely trying to give her a little bit of a makeover because I think her hair looks really stiff. And I don't know about like the way that look. Yeah, Val, I mean, look at her shirt. There's not a care in the world. Yeah, but anyway, I wanted to see how she would look if I gave her a little bit of a makeover. And I'm a little partial to redheads and freckle faces, which she is both. So I just wanted to check this doll out, so I ended up getting her. But I found her at Tuesday morning for a pretty decent price, so I'm not regretting this purchase. Even though her face is just okay, like I don't think that her face is particularly good looking, but sometimes you need a few plain Janes in your collection, you know what I'm saying? You need plain Janes to tell a story, right, sometime. Yeah, plain Janes, something I would never be. Okay, next one is this. Yo, just like soon as she's in the frame, I can see there's a huge difference between her face and her body. <laughs> but she's kind of yellowish. Her skin tone's kind of yellow. So she has super hard to match. And this doll, um, she kind of reminds me of the LA Girl doll, the way that they did her hair and like the blonde. But it's straight, it's a little different, you know. But she is also the same uh, head sculpt as the LA girl, which was a Skipper doll head sculpt. So, I don't know. She's like, if you miss LA girl the first time around, I guess you would have got this fashionistas. And she has a made to move purple top body. So this is fully articulated with made to move joints. I could not figure out what body would match this head well. So I just gave her this body because I really didn't care that it didn't match. So it's probably why I don't photograph this all that much, but yeah, it is what it is. I also want to point out to you guys that um, some of my dolls, like this one for example, they don't have their original made to move hands that they came with because when I first 
got made to move dolls I didn't like that their hands were so flat and kind of like I don't know it just didn't seem like they were like that well separated I guess the fingers this is the original head sculpt for that doll that's how she looks and she's got her signature pink pastel pink hair um, it's it's like streaks of pink in her hair but most of it's blonde and you can see the difference between the two dolls because their hair's not on the same side where it's shaved and then LA girl has all blonde but this one has dark hair too so you know she kind of feels like a fuse between LA girl and this one that I showed you guys earlier see they all have the same sculpt with different face-ups they're all pretty so I think I made them all like maybe related to each other or something in my stories I don't know I don't remember but anyway this particular one she is named Kimber and she's one of our characters on our show broken Barbie show and she actually got moved on to a uh, it's the same skin tone but this one is the yoga doll that we call peach top which is the curvy pale skin tone and so she is like my BMR doll that I showed you guys with those thick joints. Oh man, look at how juicy her legs are, I know, right? Um, <laughs> super duper juicy. And I felt like Kimber was probably one of our first that we did an experiment on to see if we could rebody them onto the curvy body type. Um, Cause it just felt like with her personality, she would be the one that would look like a curvy girl in real life. So, yeah she's our she's our hood white girl that's her persona and i know some girls that are just like kimber so that's what her character is based off of some real life hood white girls that we know <laughs> ah, i love her um so next i have this one who i call ophelia and this one i think was originally a cinderella doll like cinderella from the live action movie and her face sculpt's supposed to look like the actress that played her, although to me, she looks more like Gwyneth Paltrow. And um, she's got a regular purple top body as well. And this skin tone definitely matches her well. She's very pale and she's perfect for this body. And I liked her because she just looked like a regular person, like a real human being. Uh, this one, I think I named her Cupcake, and this one is originally a Barbie style doll, I think. One, no, 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 Barbie look doll. She's a Barbie look doll. Yeah, I love this doll. She's a Carl head sculpt, which is one of my top 10, I would say. Um, Carl sculpt, very pretty, very ladylike. And I have a few other dolls in different skin tones with this head sculpt. And she's got some nice long hair. And the hair color is nice, I think. It reminds me of like Teresa from back in the day, from the 90s. I know her hair was like this color, sort of. And they always seem to look very classy, this head sculpt, to me. That's just my opinion. But I have another one of her over here. This is... Darla. So this one is Cupcake. This one is Darla. And they have the same sculpt, but Darla is originally the... Darla was originally a Barbie look, um, uh, Sweet Tea. Yeah, Sweet Tea was the, was the version that she was called. She's so pretty. And they just look, to me, they remind me of, like, really nice southern girls <laughs> so I like them both and their hair is different but their skin tone is the same I think so their hairstyle is different and the color is different because they're actually both the same doll okay the one with the braids is Sierra Sierra Riley that's her name and then the one with the big poofy hair this is Reagan and these two dolls are very special not only because of the characters that we created for them on our show which they're like one of the most popular characters i think but um i feel like these two i have the most connection to as far as like a storyline that goes with them like a backstory and like how the characters are driven because they're very much based on real people that we know <laughs> 
and their relationship with each other is like very uh i guess ironic but this is it's actually based on a real set of twins that we know who really hate each other like they can't stand each other but they're identical twins they look exactly alike so these two um i don't think they're actually identical twins in our storyline there's one of them's older reagan is older and uh i think they're supposed to be fraternal um but if you look at them closely you'll see that they have the nikki head sculpt and Nikki normally has a smiling face. She's showing teeth. And I actually did my my uh, teeth extraction on these two dolls. And these are some of the first dolls that I actually taught myself that method with. So, yeah. Basically did plastic surgery on them and changed their lips so that they would not be showing teeth anymore. And I love them because they're so unique based on that and even though I did both of them I, I think I repainted both of their lips as well so that there's a slight difference in the way that their lips are kind of like posed on their faces I guess so their expressions look a little bit different and I also changed their eyebrows I think one of them I made her eyebrows thinner and like changed the shape a little bit so that there would be very subtle differences in their faces and also these are actually two different versions of this doll so there was one version that came with lots and lots of curls and it was really big juicy curls like hers and then see how tame these curls look even though they're braided but because this version always had a more relaxed texture to the hair it was straighter at the top and there were two different versions and people when they were ordering the dolls they would be getting like whatever random version the company would send. So what I did with um, Sierra, I just braided up all her hair into box braids so she could just wear it like that. And then that's how I tell them apart with their different hair textures. But I liked those subtle differences, but I liked both versions of the doll. So that's why I made them into twins. And those are the differences. Um, but another big difference right now is that both of them are not on the same body. I gave them both made to move bodies, but you can see that Reagan has just a regular purple top body. And then her sister, Sierra, has a peach top body, which is the, um, this is the curvy version of the same articulation. You know, we see this in real life. There are twins that started off looking very similar in childhood and then as they grew, they just grew into their bodies differently. So one might be a little bigger than the other one. Moving on to the next one on the list. Another one of my A-list dolls. This is Min, who I named after one of my aunties that passed away years ago. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Min is also one of our characters on our Broken. Barbie show, she's super uptight, she's a perfectionist, she is, doesn't really have that much of a sense of humor, <laughs> and she's an ultra feminist. Um, I probably wouldn't like her in real life if I met her, but hey, I know people like this, so. <laughs> I don't know why I gave her my favorite aunt's name though, even though I don't like the persona that we created for her, like as a person, she would be really annoying to me, but I don't know. Um, but I like the character because I think she brings something different to our storylines. And she was originally a Barbie look doll as well. And she came with her very, very short bob hairstyle. She looked like a news anchor. And she has a purple top body. And then um, it's fully articulated is what I'm trying to say. Her, this one is not a fashionista's doll. This is actually one of those babysitters doll. Like skipper and her babysitter friends or whatever when they first started making these uh, a couple years ago they came in those packs with the little dolls the little baby dolls and stuff whatever the case this doll was supposed to be on a skipper sized body but i transplanted her onto this purple top because she is the right skin tone for it 
and I didn't have one of these head sculpts as an Asian girl so I thought it would be interesting to have one of those because I'm always looking for more Asian looking dolls to add to my collection. Okay, so here is one of my super favorite A-list dolls, Eden, and Eden Vegas, that's her name. She is originally the FAO Schwartz toy soldier doll. In love with her. Her face is so cute. I normally don't like open mouth teeth showing when dolls are smiling, but this is probably the, the one doll that I like totally don't have a problem with looking at the teeth on because something about her smile she just looks really f like happy-go-lucky like so like carefree though that's the feeling that I feel when I see the smile on her face so I love it she just looks really playful and I like that she's got these side glancing upward looking eyes that's different and there is another version of this doll. She is exactly the same except that her hair is blonde. But I always like the brunette one better so I decided I wanted to get this. I'm so glad I got her when I got her because I think she's a lot more expensive now. And I feel shorts, that store has like closed down a long time ago. So it's very nostalgic for people to see this doll. But I gave her a purple top body because I absolutely needed her articulated because the original body she came on was stiff as a mofo. But she's so cute, I love her. So this doll, she is originally a Hasbro doll and she's supposed to be Mulan from the new um, uh, live action video. And she's got a peached up body. And on screen, it does look like her face is a little bit more yellow tinted than she looks like she is in person. But in person to the naked eye, you can't really see that difference. It blends in a lot better. But um, it's hard to find matches for this kind of yellowy kind of skin tone that some of these dolls have because I don't think there's a made to move doll that is gonna match that skin tone exactly just yet. But that's the closest I could get and I really don't care because I'm not gonna like sweat if they don't have exact matches. Because sometimes when you get dolls from Mattel itself, they don't always match 100% on their original bodies, but you still kind of like have to deal with it. <laughs> so I'm not sweating it. As long as it's not like a huge difference. Like if I took her head and put on this body, now, okay, we got a problem. But for now, that's just fine. And he's just on his original body. Now this body is a little different from the Superman body that I showed y'all earlier. So let's do a side by side right quick so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about for those of you that don't have both. Okay, so see just, I mean, look at this. The chest, the arms, you can already see that there's a difference in the bulk between the two dolls. Wow, he's massive. Yeah. <laughs> this in Korea, we call this Tung Chi. Okay, Tung Chi ga koi inen. And then look at those legs. Oh my gosh, his legs look like straight up drumsticks. <laughs> huge. You see how it's so difficult to dress these guys because they're they're huge. So it, you have to have a lot of stretchy fabric for them. But these guys can fit into regular Ken dimensions of clothing. So it's not such a struggle to redress them. Like the shirt he has on now. This is one of those custom shirts that Jinu did for me. But the shirt itself, you know, the drawing is Jinu's custom drawing. But the shirt is um, like an action figure shirt, I think. So it it's just supposed to fit like a standard male 12-inch doll's body and no struggle. But this shirt, getting this shirt onto the Superman body would have been like a real struggle. You feel me? But yeah, I love the body. I love the articulation and the boys do have the exact same level of articulation that the girls have. They have all of the same joints, even the ones in the thigh that pivot like this. They have all those joints and the one in the upper arm here. They're the same. They just look different. So I love that. Thank you, Carlisle Nuera. Let's get some more of these boys with articulation and skin tones. But this head sculpt, you guys, tell me if I'm wrong. Remember the one-of-a-kind dolls that Carlisle Nuera designed for Madrid? Um, 
I think he had one of these sculpts in that lineup of dolls, just in a little bit different skin tone. Doesn't he resemble one of them? This one, this is the Hippolyta, is that the name of that character from Wonder Woman? Well, she was one of those originally, even though that doll did come with somewhat of an articulated body, I ended up, I think I just ended up like tossing that body somewhere. Like I don't, I didn't want it anymore because it was so much of a struggle to get her stupid uniform off of the body. It was like, I don't know, they like glued it onto the plastic or something. And it was such a biatch trying to like get off. I had to use tools to get her freaking uh, stuff off of her. It was insane. I don't remember what I did with that body, you guys, to be honest, but I was so frustrated. So I ended up rebodying her onto a straight up purple top body because I was so agitated with her uh, body she came on. I don't know why I liked this doll. I feel like sometimes when I get dolls that have these like Caucasian skin tones, I really like them a lot more when they look like believable human beings. Like they don't look cartoony. I, I don't know, it's just something about that appeals to me kind of the same reason why i decided i wanted this doll she doesn't look as cartoony to me as some of our dolls do um from different lines and then this next doll i'm going to show you kind of the same thing like look at her face of course she's supposed to look like a living person the model who they made her face sculpt after but i just something about that really has appealed to me over the years so that's why i like getting the Caucasian dolls with very real looking face sculpts or like ones that are based on actual humans. And I love her hair, it's so long and luscious. This one is a semi-MTM hybrid. Now, what I mean by that is, see, her upper arms are not made to move. She has a smaller waist than a peach top does. See how their sizes are different in the waist. Because this is actually a little bit peep body, but she does have the same articulation here in the knees. She's got the double joints down here, just like a made to move does. So her lower body is like a made to move doll's body, and she even has that joint there, if you're wondering about little bit peep. But her torso looks a lot like, you know when people use rubber bands to cinch the waist of their dolls and change their bodies? Um, structure a little bit like she kind of reminded me of that so that's why i wanted to get it and try it out on this doll and she did originally come with articulation but i think i swapped her body out for another doll and then i let her have this wider curvy style body so i really like that and um this shirt is actually the one that came with this doll but i had Jinu put one of his designs on it for me so um i kind of spruced it up a little bit okay and we're almost done with this skin tone so now the next one is Tinkerbell she is on a curvy made to move body which is peach top and again she's got that yellow tint on her skin that is really hard to match with other donor bodies so I had to settle for this uh, skin tone but that's okay not gonna be that worried about it and I think and uh, I thought I was seeing things, but I know I'm not. The hands for the made to move curvy dolls are a little different than those really flat hands that they give to the regular made to move dolls. They have a little more dimension to the hands, I think, which I think makes them look prettier. So I love that, love that. Maybe I'll swap some hands around. But anyway, here's my other doll that I put on that same kind of body. And for her, this is uh, Merida from the Disney Store. So both of these are Disney Store dolls, they're not Barbie dolls. And I just popped their heads off and put them onto these bodies and they seem to be just fine. So they're okay, their heads aren't wobbly on here. And the last one that I have is this BMR 1959 doll. She's got the Tango head sculpt. And this one is actually my only tall body in the skin tone so her original body is this one that she's on and it's got the same dimensions as like the tall fashionistas dolls but she's made to move so that's so freaking awesome i love that they're making the made to move dolls with different body types they started off with the regular one then they switched to curvy next and then this bmr series has brought us the tall body as well as the petite body 
Um, but we did have a basketball player doll that came out before this that was also tall. But I think she was more popular as a donor rather than the doll itself. Which I do have one of. Only one. And I can show you the basketball one that I have. So this doll is a fashionista's doll whose head I took and put onto the basketball doll body. And, you know, I'm showing this one to you because... Uh, I think when I bought this doll, I thought that the basketball player is the same complexion as um, as orange top. But then when I was looking at them side by side, she actually looks a lot lighter than them. So I don't know if she's actually that skin tone because I had her in the same group with those dolls. But now I'm not sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me see. This one is the same skin tone as our orange top dolls. See how, don't, they, don't she look a little more tan? Like a little browner? She looks darker. I'm, I'm not seeing things, you guys. I know I'm not. They don't look the same to me. It's such a subtle difference though. So I don't know, maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. I don't have the best eyesight. But anyways, her body's dimensions are exactly the same as my BMR dolls. These are the only two tall Barbies that I have in my collection at the moment, but I really like them. I like the tall bodies. I like the I like all the body types more with articulation. So like before when they were on those fashionistas bodies, I didn't really care that they were tall or small or whatever. Like even the Kirby dolls, I love the way they looked, but I didn't want to handle them or dress them. Um, because they were so stiff because I can't pose them that's really why I don't like when my dolls are stiff it's like ugh, I need to pose them so I can give them some personality so they can come alive you know but anyway I love the sculpt too she's very I don't know she just looks so much like a real person like a real human beings face sculpt that's what it looks like her nose is so similar to the Pazette sculpt dolls nose um, it kind of reminds me of that, the way that it's shaped, but at the same time it's different, like the bridge of the nose is kind of different, and she just reminds me a lot of like Middle Eastern people that I know. They have similar facial features, so I love that. She could also pass for a Native American girl, but don't their noses look kind of similar? You know what I'm saying? It's like the end, not the bridge, but the actual tip of the nose. They look very similar. I love it. Um, I like little details like that. Okay, so that's the end of this part of the video. I showed you my dark chocolate dolls. We took a look at our pink top bodied dolls. And then we also looked at the one basketball player doll that I have um, in this medium brownish tannish skin tone and we also checked out the dolls with the purple top skin tones as well that's it for these particular skin tones in my collection for made to move articulation we're going to go on to the next set of dolls in the next video so make sure you check that out i'll see you next time go ahead and follow us on instagram have a dolly day